it's me, Amy. Hi, it's me. <gasps> oh, I was too early, wasn't no, I? No, okay, excuse okay, me. Let me go back, let me go back. No, it's perfect. I really want you to be my best no, friend. No, it's me, it's me, it's me. Hi. Oh, I'm too early again. Okay, 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 I'll try. Give me one more try. Give me one more okay, try. Okay, fine. Do Wait for my signal. Friends, I really want you to meet somebody. This is a very close friend of mine. His name is Cedric. Cedric the Seagull. Cedric, get over here. Ced okay, now, now he's shy. Can you help me? Tell him, come on, Cedric. Come on, Cedric. Come on, Cedric. Oh, oh, sorry, I missed the signal. Oh, I got it wrong again. It's okay. Uh, We're okay. still friends forever. Uh, yeah. So, meet Cedric. Cedric is my longtime friend. We met at, do you remember? The YMCA camp. That's right, we met at the YMCA camp. We um, both bonded over having the same favorite food. It's anchovies. <laughs> So delicious. Do you remember what song was playing on the radio when we met? Cedric, I would never forget it. It was, um, I'm a pretty I girl did it again. in a pretty world. Oops, we're remembering differently. <laughs> That's okay, Cedric. We're still uh, friends forever. Hey, listen, today we're going to be learning about anchovies. Anchovies. All the different recipes, <sighs> pastas, pizzas. Yum. Yum. Put it in an omelet, Yum. eat it plain oh, on toast. My favorite. Cedric loves anchovies, so do I. But look, I'm talking about what we're going to be learning today in church. You ready Ooh. for that? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be learning about how God really loves it when we work together. Work together. Work together, Cedric. Work together. So we're going to learn what that really means. But first, we're going to work together and do a little worship together. <clears throat> You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it, worship time. Come on, come on, bring it, bring it.
Ever start something small and then discover it was fun to take it big? You read an awesome story and then you bring the whole thing to life for your friends and family. You bake a batch of chocolate chip cookies and they taste so good you recruit friends to put on a whole bake sale. And then you use the money you earn to buy bikes for kids who've never had one. You have fun learning a new way to paint. Then you get together with your friends and paint a whole wall. You send a note to encourage someone. I hope you have a great day. And you also work with your friends to throw an entire surprise party. God created you to do amazing things on your own, but he designed you to do even more when you work together to share his love. And then others can see God at work in all of you. That's why cooperation is a fantastic way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. My name is Haley, and as you can see, I love music. And I mean all kinds of music. Rock music. Country music. Hip hop. I love it Oh, But my favorite kind of music is the kind that involves Cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Take an orchestra, for example. It takes all kinds of cooperation for an orchestra to come together. They've got strings, woodwinds, brass, and of course, percussion. By themselves, those instruments sound just fine, but when they all play together, they really make some noise. And music isn't the only place where cooperation makes a difference. Cooperation shows up in sports, at school, at home, and as we'll see in today's story, in tent building. Really, really, really big tent building. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. See you soon. All right, Brandon. You ready for a jam session? You know it, John. Here we go. Thank you, everyone. We are the So and So Show Band, and we're here to rock your faces. Two, three, four. Stick with the guitar. Let's stick with the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello all, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this is the So and So Show. Hey, it's March. Yeah, but we're not marching. We're jamming. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know the show won't be able to continue if I don't do this. You are correct. All right. Come on, come back, come on. Booyah. Come on. Oh, no. Mark. Okay. Okay. Woo! All month long, we're in the midst of a big old jam session, and I love... To, what is that? Huh. You know what? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know who it sounds like. Who? Someone who knows stuff! Oh. Everybody, this is Han. Did he leave? Oh, this everybody right here. This is Han. Everybody, this is Han's decibel. And yeah, that's the one. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. This is Hans Decibel. He's our resident sound expert. Huh? How you doing today, Hans? Why don't you get the... Yeah, yeah. How you doing today, Hans? Yeah, uh, is there... Are you there, Hans? Hans! He's not there. Oh, yeah. Hans! Ah! Oh! Um, no, I'm, I'm a friend. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Brandon. I know, that's that, 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 that. Hello, Brandon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hello, John. Hi. Sorry, I was... No. Distracted. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were... Um... What's your mind? Oh, no, no. Perfect! Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, good well, job. Thank you. <laughs> I am working on... A very important project. Yeah, we can tell. I mean, you're off on another world. Nine! No. I am not. I am on this world. This planet. Yeah, it's the planet does. Uh, okay, but what's your project, Hans? Are you, are you trying to document every sound there's known to man? I'm making music. Oh. Ooh. Don't you need instruments to make music? Nine, of course not, John. No, it's there are music all around us mm -hmm. if we just listen. Sing fast! What? <gasps> Sorry. Nine! Wunderbar! This was exquisite! Oh, uh, then you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't know, Hans. I don't, I'm not sure I've heard anything that sounds like music. Music is in the ear of the beholder, Brandon. <laughs> Everyone knows this. May I pinch you? <laughs> no. Okay. May I pinch him? Oh, yeah, go for it. Why what? would you say that? Ah! Oh. Perfect! Ow. Thank you for your sacrifice. Yeah, can you please explain to us what we're actually doing? Yeah, good, yeah, of course. We have been working together to create art. There are opportunities all around us. We just have to know where to find them. Listen. Wow! That's actually incredible, Hans. Yeah, this is correct. You make a good musical team. Uh, yeah. We should form a band and traverse the globe together. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. What should the band be called? Uh, uh, oh, it should be called Sound Explosion. Mm. Boom! It's like an explosion of sound. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I got it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I look forward to your call. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, hey, thanks for coming by. Huh? Uh, yeah. I didn't think you had a phone. Nine. I don't have a phone. No. Just. Oh! Yeah, okay. Yeah. Music! It's everywhere. Boom. <laughs> Sound explosion. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. How are you? Oh, we're great, Kellen. What are we talking about today? Well, today we're talking about the building of the tabernacle and how. Oh boy. Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible stone. Read on the Mel Solomon story recap. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. How's it going, Melv? Here to help tell the story today? That's what I do, Kellen. 
I'm Melf Solomon here as always with my brother-in-law, Greg. Say hello, Gregory. Hello, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> tell what you tell, Kel, and I'll pipe in with a song when the mood strikes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Greg. The mood hasn't stricken yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it away, Kellen. Okay. You can find this story in the book of Exodus, the second book of the Bible. God's people, the Israelites, were wandering in the desert. God wanted a place to live among them. So, through a man named Moses, God told the people to build a sacred tent or tabernacle. It was going to take a lot of planning and a lot of work to build. So the people were going to have to work together. Work together? I got the perfect song for that. Hit it, Greg. What? No. No, 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 no. What? Not that song, Greg. You know how I feel about that song. But I was just... You know what? Go on. Get out of here. Take a rest. I'll do this on my own. But I play... Go! Go ahead, Kellen. I just need a second to figure this uh, keyboard out. <laughs> it can't be too hard. Um, yeah. The people were going to have to work together. So God told Moses to have his brother and his nephews serve as priests in the tabernacle, which meant they would need workers who had the gift of sewing to help make robes for the priests. So, a needle pulling thread, am I right? Hit it, me. Make me a robe so shiny and new. I'll wear it now, unless it goes moo. No leather, everyone. Cruelty-free vestments. Sorry. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Carry on, Kelly on. Thanks. The tabernacle was going to need more than just people who could make clothes. God had given special abilities to these two guys named Bezalel and Aholiab. They could work with metals like gold, silver, and bronze. They could also work with wood. God wanted the tabernacle to have lampstands made of pure gold and a golden ark to hold the Ten Commandments and a table for holy bread. Ooh, ooh, have I got a song for that? That's not, no, that's not it. Okay, hold on. Um, they also uh, had an uh, altar for burning incense. Go. Wait, 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 uh, go back to the uh, the bread table. I have, a, I have the perfect song for the, that's not it. Okay, uh, right, sorry. That's not it. That's not I'm not really right. sure what you want me to do. Okay, bread table. Uh, they will give me a bread table. Bread table. Yeah, bread table. God told Moses exactly how the tabernacle should be built, and everyone wanted to contribute. People gave their talents. They gave materials. They took time to teach other people how to build and sew and craft. They all used their skills together. Yeah, skills, like my skill to do this. That's not right. Uh, no, no, it's a, uh, hold on. Yeah, hey. what? Melv, do you think you might need to work together with someone? Someone like Greg? Greg! Come on, Greg. I, I, I can't do this anymore, Greg. I, buddy, I'm sorry. I, I thought that I could do this on my own, but I, I, it just isn't true. And, and besides, you and me, pal, we go together, right? We're like, we're like uh, peanut butter and jelly, ham and eggs, milk and... Uh, milk! Mm, exactly, Greg. Milk and milk. Melvin, Greg, come on. Back together again. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Kellen, go ahead and tell me one more thing. I have the feeling we're in for a big finish. Thanks. <laughs> when all the work was done, Moses looked it over. He found that the people had worked with one another 
and with God. So the tabernacle was built exactly as God wanted. That's it. Here we go. Hit it, Greg. If you've got a job to do, you've got to do it right. Especially if that job's for God, for Him you'll work all night. In the snow and in the rain and all kinds of weather. Doesn't matter when you work, long as you work together. Right, Greg? <laughs> all right, Kellen. Lesson learned. Back to you, my friend. Sorry, Kellen. That's enough of the quack. It is so no, fun. Uh, it's very fun. I didn't know that was on there. Very fun. CML could not have done it without you. Everyone has something they're good at. We all have some kind of talent. And there's a lot we can do on our own. But amazing things can happen when we use the gifts God has given us to work together. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, oh hey. Hey, Hans just sent me a clip. Oh, yeah. Clip. Reveal the question. When have you seen people work together? Yeah, uh, I see people work together all the time. This show, and you and I work together. Yeah, working together can be something as huge as a, a giant crew of people putting up a building. Yeah, or as small as working on a school project with a friend. Yeah, we're about to work together to finish the show. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for joining us this week, everyone. Yeah, until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. See you soon. Yeah. High five. Yeah, teamwork, baby. I got it. Okay. Just hold it still. You, right. you keep moving it, don't you? No. You, you're not. Nope. <gasps> Is that the first time ever? Yes. I am never washing this hand again. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's gross. Yeah. Big finish! Yeah! Yeah. Wunderbar! Uh. <laughs> Do you have any baby Ruths? I, I just don't like Wonder Bars. Mm. <laughs> when the Israelites were wandering in the desert, God asked them to build a big tent. A tent we now call the tabernacle, where people could worship God and where God could live. Oops. You heard that right. God wanted to live with the Israelites in the desert inside of a big traveling tent. And God wanted the people to work together to make it. So they needed people with all kinds of different gifts. Designers, people who could sew, people who could work with stone and fine metals. Plus, they needed teachers who could train people how to do all of those things. God knew that if they all worked together, they could make something incredible. God has always been big on cooperation. Think of Jesus. He could do so much on his own. He could work miracles, and yet, he chose to work together with a unique group of 12 disciples as he traveled and he taught. God wanted them to work together. And guess what? God wants us to work together too. You see, we are all unique. We all have things we're good at. We could be good at sports or good at math or good at coming up with stories. We could be hard workers or good at solving problems and by ourselves, we could do just fine. But when we work together, when we use our gifts with the gifts of other people, then we can really make some noise. So here's the one thing to remember today. God wants us to work together. Working together helps us get things done faster. It helps us get things done better. Plus, it helps us to grow the relationships with the people all around us. And that is a good thing. Thought we could use a pig finish. <laughs> I'll see you next time! Oh, Cedric! What did you think about that? That Bible story? I was so inspired. I'm trying to build my own tablet. 
<laughs> well, guess what? Cedric, I can help you. We can work together. Work together. God loves right. it when we work, work together. Work together, that's right. Let's work together. I'm, okay, get I'm those fingers to work then. Okay, then let's go. Do, do, do. Now, that reminds me of the Bible verse, Amy. Thank you. I was going to ask you if you know the big word. Would I you, do. Would you mind reciting the big word for all of us today? Of course. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes, boy, that's an elf rule, 4 verse 9. Or should I say 4 dot dot 9. Shall I do it again? Yes, please. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes 4 dot dot 9. Now, Amy, you might be wondering why my accent changes when I read scriptures. Why? It's because I studied at Cambridge. And so whenever I get to reading the Bible, it brings out all my British professors. But I'm back now. Ready to help me build the tabernacle? <sighs> totally. I'm ready to help you, Cedric. Okay. Let's do it. High five. All right, Cedric, look, before we go, because church is wrapping up, um, we just got to let the families know the what different kind of ways. Beat? Well, we need to what let them- What kind of beat you want? Wrapping up. Wrapping wrap up. up. Okay, parents, caregivers, you know what to do. You want to stay in touch? You got to go to the Facebook page, get our newsletter, keep in touch, and say what's up. That's it. My beat doubles as a bass drum. You like? Sounds so good. That's teamwork. Makes the dream work, baby. Rhythm and rhymes, baby. I'm rhythm, she's the rhyme. Now, let's take a minute and pray together, shall we? Yes. May I hold your wing for a prayer? Please do. Okay, thank you. All right. Dear God, thank you for helping us learn how to work together. You say so clearly, working together, two's better than one. That's what you want for us teamwork, cooperation. So may we do that in our lives every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Cedric. Thanks for being such a good partner. Thanks for having me, Amy. I love it. I love you, dude. All right. Well, let's say bye to our friends. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye, bye from Cedric bye. and me. Bye. Ah, 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 ah. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Get him every time. Bye. Quiet on set. Hey, my prestigious student of Cambridge University. Oh, yeah. very good, very good, very good, Amy. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you just put your, why don't you just put this in your mouth? I'm in <laughs>